Hello and welcome to 11.5 Notes. Uh, first off, let's start with a little review. Okay, recall that the area of a circle is pi times the square of the radius. So if you have this uh, circle and you have um, this radius, say for example it's 10 inches, 10 squared then is 100, and then 100 times pi is about 314 or so would be like 314 square inches or something like that, okay? Um, today's uh, lesson is not on areas of circles, right? That's something we've done in the past, but you will need to know that to figure out uh, today's uh, lesson. Today's lesson is to find the area of sectors, okay? The area of sectors. And what is uh, a sector of a circle? Well, a sector of a circle is the region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. Okay, so please write all this down and get caught up. Uh, remember, you're in total control of this presentation. If you'd like to fast forward, rewind, pause it. Again, you're in total control um, of this presentation. And uh, moving right along with uh, the... Uh, uh, definition of the sector of a circle. It's the region bounded by two radii. So here's your um, radii is plural for radius, right? So here's your two radiuses in a sense, right? Here's one radius, here's another radius. So here's your two radii. And then it says um, bounded by the two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc, which means this intercepted arc. So it's the region bounded by the two radii in the intercepted arc. It's this region right here. Kind of looks like a piece of a pie, doesn't it? Piece of a, like a cheesecake or a apple pie or even a pizza pie, right? And I also kind of think of it as like, um, it can kind of look like uh, one of those pieces in the game Trivial Pursuit, right? If you get a question right on the game Trivial Pursuit or one of the questions is uh, on the hub of the wheel. If you get that right, then you get a little piece of a pie. Uh, you get a sector of the circle. Okay, So that's what our goal is for today, is to find the areas of sectors. And again, part of that formula uh, uses the area of a circle. That's why I reviewed that. Okay, So moving right along, to find the area of a sector, you use the following formula. So please write this down. The area of the sector equals x degrees that the sector takes up divided by 360 degrees because there's 360 degrees in a circle. In other words, you're trying to find the fraction that the sector takes up of the whole entire circle. And then you multiply that by the area of the circle. Okay. I'll remember pi r squared is the area of the whole entire circle. So write that down, get caught up, and we're going to do an example problem um, in the next frame. Okay? Okay, you may pause this presentation now if you'd like and copy down the, uh, this prompt uh, along with this figure. The whole thing is the prompt. And um, this is a circle, and this is sector EDF, and sector EDF has a degree measure of 120 degrees and the radius of the circle is 14 feet. Okay, so we're going to use this figure to find the indicated measures. Uh, and there's three parts to this problem. The first part is to find the area of the whole entire circle. But remember the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So we just fill in uh, pi r squared, the radius is 14. So it's pi times 14 squared. 14 squared is 196. So the answer is 196 pi square feet. And if you take 196 and multiply it by pi, like by using your calculator and using the pi button, you'll get about 615.75 uh, square feet. Um, and I have the approximate symbol because uh, remember it's 615.75, but it goes on forever and ever and ever, right? So this number extends forever and ever and ever. And so, um, yeah, if you want to round it to the hundredths place, it's approximately equal to that. But whenever you multiply something by pi, it's really an approximation, okay? Um, okay, so moving right along, right along, uh, the second problem is find the area of this sector here, okay? So, we're going to find the area of sector EDF, 
Okay, And the way you do that is you take the fraction that this sector takes up. So the, the, the degree measure of this sector is 120 degrees. So that's 120 degrees over the degree measure of the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. And then you multiply that by the area of the whole entire circle, which we already figured out is 196 pi. Okay, So that's your formula. So I know that the fraction that the sector EDF takes up is a third, right? A third. So this sector right here takes up one-third of the whole entire pi, right? And it, and it looks like about one-third, doesn't it? So it's one-third because 120 divided by the whole entire circle, 360, reduces to one-third. So this is one-third of... This area here is one-third of the area of the entire circle, and the area of the entire circle is 196 pi. So you multiply the two together, and you get 65 and one-third pi square feet. That's the exact answer, but if you're an engineer and you want to be able to, you know, cut something or know how much, uh, you know, say carpeting you need to fill in that area, then you would um, multiply by pi and get your approximation about 205.25 square feet. Okay, And then the third problem is what is the area of the shaded region? And uh, I just copied this down for your convenience, but if you, are, if you already copied it down, you don't need to do that again. All right. So the area of the shaded region. Well, there's two ways to, um, to tackle this problem. One way is to consider the shaded region, the red shaded region, as being two-thirds of uh, the area of the whole circle, right? So if this was 120 divided by 360, or one-third of the whole pi, if you have a whole, right, the, the entire circle is one whole circle, right? One minus one-third equals two-thirds. So this red shaded region must be two-thirds of the whole entire circle. And again, the area of the whole entire circle is 196 pi. So two-thirds of 196 pi will give me the area of the red shaded region, which is 130 and two-thirds pi. Okay? And then another way to tackle this problem, another way to think about it, is to, to know, to realize that the, circ the uh, area of the entire circle is 196 pi, but this area is 65 and a third pi. So if you subtract the area of the whole entire circle minus the area of the sector EDF, you would get the area of the red shaded region. And that's what I've done here. Um, and we should still get the same answer, right? 130 and two thirds pi. If you take 130 and two thirds and multiply by pi, you get 410 Point five zero square feet. Okay, um, so uh, that's the end of the notes. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at your convenience, and it would be my pleasure to help you. Okay, bye bye.